I'm back again. Yeah, see, there's the 3D poster creature from the Black, Black Lagoon, and it came from outer space. Yeah, I got that from my fiend, Mark Paul Vincent Stellick, the vampire of Milwaukee, sent me. He gave me that when I was down at his house back in 94. Yeah, there's my King Kong bank I got for five bucks at the Hollywood Collectibles show over there in Skokie on Tui Avenue. And there you go, there, there you go. 3D, yeah. I got that for free from Mark Paul Vincent Stellick. And he gave me that Frankenstein, too. He gave me that. Gave me some free stuff when I was at his house. Yeah, and then our fiend John Scott was there. Yeah, John Scott, yeah. And by the way, he was down there, too. He's a fiend of mine on Facebook now. And by the way, that is, that is not nudity. She's covering it up. She's got her hands there. She's covering it up. And those are some panties I got at the All Freaking Night Film Fest that I hosted in... See how it was. It's got clothes on. It's a, yeah. That's not nudity. That's a that's a model I met when I was on the Man Cow Morning Madhouse for the first. I think it was the first time I was on. The second time I was on back at like two thousand. Nice gal. But yeah, it, it gave me. A, you know, we all got a free. Uh, I got a free autographed. Uh, you know, calendar with pictures of her. You know, with clothes on. Not nude. Not nude. She's a model. And so, yeah, there you go. And then, uh, uh, so, so that's family fiendly, you know. And there's another one of those skeletons, you know. And there's a green one. I got a green one back here somewhere. There it is. I got these at Uncle Fun for like a quarter or 50 cents. Hanging skeleton, just like the ones in 1960. They got this pumpkin man guy. And I, I got that at Walgreens. I love ghosts. Richard Crowe's ghost tours, supernatural tours. I got that. And then there, I got that like, back in like 96, 94 when I was on his ghost tour. There's the mask I used in Conrad Brooks versus Werewolf. There's the, the Cyclops I made in seventh grade. There's Invasion of the Saucer Men. I got that from our fiend Terry Murray who passed away about a year ago. May he rest in peace. I got that for about three bucks, five bucks when I first met him. He gave it to me for like three bucks when I met him in... Uh, Milwaukee at a sci-fi, sci-fi, uh, sci-fi, um, con convention, and Butch Patrick was there, um, you know, Eddie Munster, you know, from the Munsters, I got an autographed picture for five bucks from Butch Patrick for five bucks, autographed with holding his wolf wolf, you know, his little Eddie Munster, so that's when I first met Butch Patrick, I met him a couple times later, he's gonna be in my upcoming Creature from the River, or, or no, Monster, the Monster from the River, a.k.a. The creature from the lake. You know, so, you know, that's what I'm going to call it. It's a creature from the Black Lagoon, creature from the lake. So, okay, so there you go. And then, uh, you know, and so there you go, see. But uh, the only scene is a scene, like an improv scene. He was at the Monster Bash behind his table talking on his cell phone. And I put my Sea Monster mask, and my friend filmed me with my camera, and he was aiming at me. And I go, and I go, and he looks, he goes, he goes, I can't do anything without a monster around. He goes, he goes, he goes, hey, I was in a family of monsters. You can't scare me. <laughs> he holds a picture of him as any monster, you know. Uh, then I, I had my aunt attacking him. I'm wiggling my aunt at him. And he goes, eh. Ah. He goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, I can't do anything when these monsters are around. Anyway, so here we go. There we go. So anyway, there you go. By the way, you can see a pre. There's, that was Teenage Mummy up by Christopher Freire. I got that movie. I got that video. I got a video down there of it down there in my collection of videos down there and so you know and then there's you see my palmer monster figures you know there's a wind-up creature by the way that i got i got that on i think uncle fun i got the wind-up kong and uncle fun and there you see the kong by palmer figures and the werewolf the cyclops dracula you know and you see that the, you know, there's a the little wolfman guy i got like a burger king you know, or White Castle. I think it was White Castle. I had those things. You know, and I, you know, I buy a lot of monsters. There's the Aurora model Frankenstein. I got that for 20 bucks at yesterday's in Chicago. You know, and there's the poster, you know, The Rock Edward of the 21st Century. That's the documentary about me by, you know, Streff and Taylor. But, you know, recorded by our fiends, uh, Ch um, not Chase, um, What's that guy's name? You know, um, well, okay, Chuck Jarman is one of them. Chuck Jarman filmed some of it. And then the other guy was, um, um, gosh, what's his name? White? What? Wit? Wit? Um, Jace, Jace Whitman. Yeah, <laughs> Wit, Wit, the uh, last, first syllable of his last name. Jace Whitman. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, he was recorded. They were here in 2007. They, 
been doing that documentary on me called The Rock, Edward of the 21st Century, you know. And, uh, you know, there's a thing I made by a strep, um, Stefan, um, Steph, Stefan, uh, whatever, some guy named Stefan did that for me. He's got a long hair in my devil, and he goes, Rawr! you know. So, you know, so, and then there's my Miss Frankenstein mask, which I'm going to use on my upcoming Miss Frankenstein. It's like my version of uh, Frankenstein's daughter, you know, and I sort of play the Donald Murphy character in Frankenstein's daughter, Dr. Frank. The Frankensteins were geniuses. They had talents undreamed of by man. And I go, I go, I go, and the guy says, uh, that, you know, they, they, they were a myth. That you, and, I, and I say, well, that's what you say. But the Frankensteins were geniuses. They had talents undreamed of by man. And he goes, yes, yeah, so anyway, so anyway there you go. There, that's my drawing of Vampire Woman. Yeah, it, uh, it got flooded. That's what I used for my title at the beginning of Vampire Woman. It's from 1996. You know, that's my drawing of Vampire Woman. Pretty cool. Huh? Look at that. She's a pretty girl. She had fangs. She'll give you the hickey you always wanted. She'll, yeah, she'll give you a hickey for sure. She'll turn you into a vampire. And that's my drawing. It's a to be Dracula's grave right there. At the beginning of Van... So I'm going to use that at the beginning of Vampire Woman 2 because I'm making a seat. I'm turning Vampire Woman, which is 4 hours and 38 minutes, into two movies. Vampire Woman 1 and Vampire Woman 2. So yeah, there you go. And there's Frankenberry cereal, you know. And there's Dracula Blows is Cool. I won that poster at Hollywood Moguls for free. When my uh, my ticket got picked out of the hat, Buddy Barnett picked the ticket out of the hat, and mine got picked, so I won a free poster. And so, and people met me. People say, "Yeah, I've seen your movie, Conrad Brooks versus Werewolf." This was in, this was May '95, the day after the Son of Famous Monsters convention out there in Universal City. And this was in Hollywood at Hollywood Moguls over there in Cherokee Avenue, or not? Cher no, Sunset. Excuse me. I think that's Sunset, Cherokee Avenue. That's where I think. Um, that's where uh, Bordner's Bar. Bordner's B O A R D N. E R apostrophe S Bordner's. That's where Conrad is the bartender in Ed Wood, and then about two doors to the, just to the left of it, you know, like north of it or south of it is uh that place that they used that for the place where Balagosi was getting his coffin in Ed Wood with Martin Landau, played by Martin Landau, where he's trying out the different coffins. He goes, your coffin is too restrictive. You're wasting my time. Yeah, <laughs> too constrictive. You're wasting my time. I told you I don't want any of your GD coffins. <laughs> he goes, he goes, hi. He goes, and what you want? He goes, oh no, no, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm your biggest fan. I'm Ed Wood. You know. <laughs> he goes, he goes, what do you want? He goes, oh, I'm just a big fan of yours, ago. See, oh, you are great in Dracula. You know. Oh, the movies were so much better then. He goes, now they want to make movies with giant spiders. He's got the cigar, the stogie. They got these movies of giant spiders and stuff. It's just, it's un it's unbelievable. You know, unbelievable, Eddie. And then he goes, so, you know, <laughs> and he makes the movie, and he goes, he goes, Edward's on the phone, he goes, I want transvestites, I need transvestites, and Bela's looking, he goes, Eddie, what kind of movie is this? He goes, oh, well, you're like the puppet master. He goes, oh, so I pull the strings. Oh, yes, yeah, so, okay, I've enough of that. Great movie, I've seen that like 33 times, Ed Wood. 35, 34 times. 12 times the theater, I saw it in the second run theaters for like $1.75, and then, uh, then I saw it on TV like uh, like another 18, uh, 20 times, 21 times. I got no video. I got video. I've seen that video. I've seen the video like about you know ten times. Seen it on TV probably about three times. And the rest of the times are all on video. I got the video. Yeah, yeah. Miss Frankenstein coming soon. And then here, of course, is my uh, down here is my uh, there's oh and there's a little fake tombstone there. Rip R.I.P. There's an old clock you know, I had since I was in the Marine. There's that mummy soda. It's still got soda in it, man. You want it? I don't think so. It's probably too bad. It's too old. That's the Jones. Yeah, that's the Jones. They had the Frankenstein. The, I, got all, I got all those. And then I just dropped my tombstone down here. I don't want to drop my tomb. Oh, that's probably where my Elvira movie is. I got my movies down here. Yeah, oh, look. Frankenstein, Fangoria's Weekend of Horrors. I think I got my Elvira, uh... Night of the, uh, oh, Werewolf and the Witch, that's my movie. Yeah, Chuck Jarman and Jace Whitman made DVD of that, 
you know, back then. That was back before it was distributed by um, Streff and Taylor of November Fire. That was this was that was years before that. You know, that was like three years before that. Monster Bears 2009. I'm in that. That's a DVD. Yeah, Night of the Ghouls. I have a VHF of Night of the Ghouls hosted by Elvira. And I was wondering what happened to it, but it's probably down there. Oh yeah, there there it is. There's the back of another copy of World from the Witch. You know, made by Jay Whitman and Chuck German. They made DVDs of this back in 2007. See. There I am. My upcoming Dave uh, Monster Movies and Baby Food. Long, the long anticipated sequel to Nelson's 93 feature film, Conrad Brooks vs. Werewolf. Yeah, he's got Roger Corman, it's from Ghoul League, Rory Ackerman. Yeah, and more. So, you know, and then here's my, um, over here is my uh, ape mask. There's the ape mask right there. And there's the dinosaur woman mask. I use in my latest movie, Dinosaur, rah, rah, I'm going to get you my dinosaur, rah. okay, cut, I got to go for my girlfriend, turns into Dinosaur Woman and eats, oh, and eats me up, oh, there's Bigfoot runs amok, I finished that, I filmed that in Philadelphia at the Mausoleum of Contemporary Art, and I drew that gorilla monster, you know, that, that Bigfoot runs amok, that's a, like a 45 minute short film I did, I filmed uh, I filmed a lot of it down in uh, Philadelphia, and the rest of it I filmed here in Des Plaines. And there's the fish man, half man, half fish, an all monster. Boys, don't come alone. Bring your goofing to protect you. You see, the, it's the fish man. I drew that. Okay, well, you know, and then, oh, here's the documentary. Can't Stop the Rock. That's the first documentary finished on me. See, it's by Chris Kaler. And um, produced by Franklin Wales. There's Franklin Wales there interviewing me. It's filmed by Chris Kaler of Chicago. Franklin Wales from Florida. It's me, you know, rah, 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 rah. there I'm chasing vampire woman through the, through the haunted cemetery with my stick. Yeah, that, that uh, wooden steak, I got that made for 75 cents at the former uh, Heinz Lumber Company. But they burned down later, unfortunately. But, you know, there's another Heinz down in Chicago. But anyway, I want to say, look, and I had a pastor named Pastor Heinz, spelled the same way, H-I-N-E-S, over at Brentwood Baptist Church in Des Plaines, Illinois. He's uh, like the senior pastor now. He uh, preaches to the, he helps out the seniors. He preaches to the seniors. But they have a younger pastor now, Pastor York, who preaches. And Jan and I visit there one, about once a year. You know, we visit because it's kind of out of our way. We watch Joel Olstein on Sunday mornings. That's our church now. And we go to churches, you know, closer by. Oh, there you go. The rock, there's a rock. Edward, 21st Century Documentary by Streff and Taylor, A November Fire. There you go. And a werewolf and the witch. Look at that. Four hours of the rock. Yeah, I got like two copies left. But you can get them from November Fire, you know, because I'm running out. They're the ones that distribute. They gave me 50 copies as payment, and I sold them all. And I got a check for a 1000 bucks for the rights to clips of my movie. So I made a 1000 bucks. plus I, he gave me 50 copies of it to sell, and I sold them all, all right, it took me a couple years to sell them all, but yeah, 20 bucks each times 50, that's pretty good money there, you know but I didn't, it took me like, you know, three years to sell them all, because I was selling my other movies at the same time, you know, so I didn't make that all, but hey, I got a nice check for a thousand bucks for uh, rights to use scenes of my movies in the documentary, they, they paid me that, now, that was nice, that was very generous, oh, and then, here, and there's a video of my volume two, Werewolf versus Dracula, I drew that, and then that's me battling Dracula. It's actually Nosferatu. Like an outer space Nosferatu. That's, that's Paul Panek wearing the suit. But we took turns being Dracula and we took turns being ourselves. So we could have actually three different characters in the movie. He played himself. He's got long hair. He had a rock band called um, Soul, Soul Scream. Soul Scream. S-O-U-L. Soul Scream from Park Ridge. Uh, Paul Panek. I don't know what happened to him. If you know who he is, tell him I said hi. Tell him to fiend me on Facebook and see me on YouTube. Tell them to search for David Rock Nelson and send me a fiend request on Facebook. There's our werewolf first day, our Dracula from space. C. The Rock versus a space alien. C. Dracula from space. Plus, Frankenstein meets John Payne Fakey. That's like a parody of Gacy because he lived only a couple miles from our house. When he was on the rampage, I was in high school. I was like 16 when he was you know, killing guys and... You know, I could have been one of his victims, but I didn't go to those places. I didn't go to the bars yet. I didn't go to a bar until I was 19. And my brother told me that uh, that was the same bar that John Wayne Gacy used to go into. You know, that was one of the bars he went to. 
out in Edison Park. Now it's called Moretti's Pizza. They got a bar, Moretti. It's called Moretti's. They got his pizza place and a bar. But they 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 used to have an old counter in there, and that's where I had my first beer when I my nineteenth birthday. My brother took me there because it's just outside of Park Ridge because Park Ridge is dry. They don't have bars in Park Ridge, so you got to go just outside, like to Niles, you know, or or Edison Park, which is down like less than a mile away from Park Ridge. And uh, they we went to Snuggery Pub. Now it's called Moretti's, and that's where I had my first beer on my nineteenth birthday. I had like two beers. I had a beer there, and then went to Edison Park Tap next door. They call it E. EPT now or EPI Edison Park Tavern EPT short for Edison Park Tavern but <laughs> but anyway that but I guess call it Edison Park Tavern they had a little bowling have a bowling alley in there you know so they bowl in there but uh, that's right my second beer yeah my brother took me there on my nineteenth birthday November twenty seventh nineteen seventy six and then, so there you see so anyway, you're just so uh, I made a, a parody called Frankenstein meets John Payne Fakey and I did that when. Gacy was on uh, death row. I actually wrote him and I told him about Jesus. I told him he could ask Jesus in his heart and Jesus would forgive him of all his sins and save him. You know, if he'd ask Jesus to come into his heart. And I shared a few Bible verses like Revelation 3.20, which tells, uh, if you open the door, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. That's what Jesus said in Revelation 3.20. And in Romans 10.13, for whosoever, that's anybody, for whosoever, including John Wayne Gacy, including anyone, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's Romans 10, 13. That means anybody can be saved. Just call on Jesus. He'll, he's there. He loves you. He'll save you. He'll forgive you. He loves you just as you are. He understands. Sure, we sin, but he still loves you. He, he hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. He loves you. He loves everybody. He, he, don't think that you're not good enough for God. God loves you just as you are. He wants to save you just as you are. Just come to say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I'm no, I know I'm a sinner. Please come into my heart and save me. So you know, they, I know that doesn't have to do with monster movies, but I believe in that. You gotta have. You gotta know where you're going first. You know, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things, like the fun times. You know, you know, uh, you, you know, the things you need. All these things that you need shall be added unto you. You wonder, well, I wanted the prettiest looking girl in school. Why didn't I get her? Why can't I get a hot date? Well, maybe it's because that's not what you need right now. You need to accept Jesus first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And sometimes like, this guy runs over people because he couldn't get a date. That was just in the news yesterday. That's not the what really counts in life. Sure, I wanted a date too. I had a hard time getting a date for a while. But, you know, when I was in high school, girls were chasing me. I want to hold your hand, David. You know, I'd be running because I was shy of girls then. But when I joined the Marines, I became an animal. <laughs> then I started, I got the confidence. So I, then I had the confidence to start asking girls out. And that's when I started uh, coming out of my shell, meeting people. That's when I started talking to people because I was always around people. I was always around, when I joined the Marines because it forces you to kind of come out of your shell because you're always around people. You're around fellow Marines. You go out in town with the Marines and then you have a few beers and it loosens you up. And then before you know it, you're out there in the dance floor trying to imitate the dancers you saw on Soul Train. Soul Train! Dun, 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 dun. I used to watch that after school in the 70s. Channel 26. Now, then later it became WCIU, the home of Sven Goli. <laughs> and then it became, then me TV, you know. So, back before it was home and shown Sven Goli, it used, they used to show uh, Soul Train afternoons at 4.30 after school. Man, I got off that music, you know. Like the Emerald, like the Emeralds, uh, uh, Dun, 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 I need your love every day I want it every day I need it without you your love is better to me than cherry pie Ooh. see how yeah that's see how I'm walking feel the need in me hey, that was a good song <laughs> okay I used to watch that stuff here school and I get up you know like uh you know that you know Motown music you know soul music brother I got down to it okay I'll see you